are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, check out the join button for channel memberships and check out the merch. And I'm rocking this fly. The media is the real virus shirt here. You can get one too, and I'm going to give you 10% off. Just type in the discount code Marxist Suck SUETs, and you're going to get 10% off. Let's get into this, folks. Let's go to the NFL and talk about disgruntled Houston Texans quarterback, Deshaun Watson. The $157 million quarterback has been on record that he is highly upset that the Texans are not woke enough. He wants the Texans to make a hire based on a head coach based on skin color. Skin color. When it came to their GM, he wanted a black GM. They hired a white GM. And then he cried like a baby. And Rhodes put up a video yesterday talking about how uh, former NFL coach Dick Vermeil said that the Texans need to change Deshaun Watson's diapers. I thought that was actually really, really funny. And it's very, very fitting that Deshaun Watson is acting like he's some kind of a first ballot Hall of Famer when it comes to uh, the Texans making their decisions. He feels like they need to go through him and take his opinion on this. And really, I don't think that he should. Now, to be fair here, Cal McNair, the owner of the Houston Texans, this is his fault because he said that he wanted uh, Deshaun Watson involved in the hiring process of the GM and head coach. Now, they didn't listen to him on the GM part. But now Kel McNair says he wants Deshaun Watson a part of the process of hiring a head coach. Folks, I believe this will set a very, very dangerous precedent in the NFL. I really, really do because... When you look at Deshaun Watson, he's he's a very good quarterback. But overall, man, he hasn't had a whole lot of team success. He hasn't. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. I don't think he's won a playoff game yet. Am I right? I don't think he's made a playoff, won a playoff game. I don't think so. And he's coming off 4-12 this year. So he doesn't know a whole lot about winning at the NFL level. But now... But Kel McNair, you did this to yourself, man. You did it to yourself. And now it looks like he's going to bend the knee to Deshaun Watson. And folks, I will tell you this. If the hire does not meet Deshaun Watson's standards, it's going to be a mess. In other words, I believe that Kel McNair is being forced into a corner to hire a black head coach. I'm not saying that there aren't any good black head coaches, but I believe that he, if he wants to wants to Sean Watson to actually be happy with the Houston Texans with his deal. And to be honest, I don't think any players should really have much of a say in this to tell you the truth. I really don't, but that's just me. If he doesn't please the Sean Watson and get a black head coach because he's forced into a, to a corner now, you know what's going to happen. The Walt Sports Media will call Kale McNair a racist if he if he doesn't hire a black coach. I think so anyway. The Sean Watson, he um, he's not happy and he won't be happy. And he actually put out this uh, cryptic tweet today, and it says something like, um, "I was at a two, now I'm, now I'm at a 10. and uh, people were interpreting that as. I was at level, level two of being mad. Now I'm at a level 10 being mad. So, Kel McNair, how are you going to bring this down? It looks like you're going to have to bend the knee. It looks like you're going to have to bend the knee. Now, me personally, I would not bend the knee. I don't think that uh, social justice has any place in sports. It ruins sports. And if this is actually set in stone that Deshaun Watson is going to have somewhat of a role or probably a bigger role than what we think the NFL could actually go down the same path as the NBA. 
Now, of course, the ratings are down in the NFL this year, but the players overall don't have nearly as much power as players do in the NBA. The NBA is in a position where it is right now on the decline. The ratings are way, way down. It's because the players have too much power over there. And the NFL owners, if you want to maintain um, your league, yes, the ratings are down, but I don't think it's something the league can't overcome at this point. If you guys want to go down the route of the NBA, then owners, you're going to start bending the knee to players like Deshaun Watson. I highly recommend that you do not do that. But anyway, this is what um, Kelman Nair said. He said, quote, Deshaun and I connected over Tets since he's returned from vacation. It's no secret he's disappointed in the lack of communication during the hiring process. And he says, um, D- Deshaun Watson was talking about um, how some things never change, you know, with the uh, Casario hire, which I think that's him being pretty disrespectful to that man. He's unhappy about it because he wasn't consulted. But your job title is player. Your job title is not general manager. Let's just be clear about this. OK. But anyway, Kelman there goes on and he says, I've watched this. I watched Deshaun since he played at Clemson. I believe he can win championships here. We believe in him. He's a great person and a great Texan. He's our quarterback. So they are going to be um, connecting now on his head coach hire. Now, remember, you have a general manager now. And really, the general manager should be the main one actually trying to get a new head coach along with Cal McNair. But now you got to bring Deshaun Watson into play because you got to remember, Casario is not the pit for GM that Deshaun Watson wanted. So if you're Kel McNair, whose side are you going to be on? Are you going to be on Deshaun's side? Or are you going to be on Casario's side? Like I said before, if he doesn't side with Deshaun Watson, if he undermines Casario, if they have two different opinions here, what's going to be the end game? Deshaun Watson may be very, very upset for the rest of his contract. Now, of course, you know, the Texans still have the power because let's say if he was at the end of his contract, you know, they could franchise him not one year, but two years. So Deshaun Watson is going nowhere, nowhere. He can be as disgruntled as he wants, but when it comes down to it, Deshaun Watson, you're a player. That is your job. Play the game. Think of this, man. You went 4-12. and Your numbers look pretty good, but you were not a difference maker this year. Leave the GM job to the GM. Leave the head coaching search to the professionals. Yeah, I understand you want your, um, your opinion to be put in, but the problem is, man, He has shown he is a social justice warrior. And I've said it before, man. These social justice warriors are never happy unless they're unhappy. He's assessed with uh, skin color that clouds his judgment. If I'm the owner, I'm not taking his opinion out. I'm not taking his opinion on this because it's going to be bias based on the skin color of the head coach. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this black and white sports fans? Do you think that Kel McNair, Texans owner, will bend the knee to Deshaun Watson and hire a, hire a head coach that is black just for social justice points? I really don't know, man. We'll have to see what happens, man. But I do think if he goes a different route, that Deshaun Watson will be very, very disgruntled and feel very, very disrespected, even though... Deshaun Watson's title is quarterback. He's a player. He's one of 53 players on the team. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this black and white sports fans? Let us know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to black and white sports and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.